Hello everyone and welcome to another News Coulomb video and another plug side chat. So something I wanted to talk about really quickly is the Electrify America build out. So uh, some people seem to be surprised by the fact that they're prioritizing the CCS plugs. And by that, I mean, they're currently building a number of fast charging locations throughout the United States along major freeway corridors. A lot of these locations are like the Walmarts, but there are also local stores and areas where they're installing them in various states. And most of these locations have at least four to five chargers per, uh, per site, but they only have one Chatamo charger per site. And it appears that Electrify America is prioritizing the faster 150 kilowatt uh, to 350 kilowatt chargers, uh, but also primarily CCS plugs. Now, it's important to keep in mind that Electrify America is an affiliate with the VW group. And what you have in that is VW, who is developing their electric vehicles right now, has committed to the CCS standard. But also in the United States, at this point in time, the only battery electric vehicle currently being sold uh, that uses Chatamo is the Nissan Leaf. And it looks like they're going to remain alone using Chatamo. Even Mitsubishi, who's an affiliate uh, with Nissan, their uh, Outlander PHEV, uh, the plug-in hybrid, Outlander is not coming with a uh, Chatamo adapter port in the North American market. So, you know, it's it's a question as to even if um, VW weren't committed to the CCS plugs for their own vehicles, how much resources should Electrify America be committing to Chatamo? if really only one automaker at this point is pursuing that. And you can say, oh, well, it's a Japanese standard and Nissan is a Japanese brand, and so they're going to support it. Uh, you could even you know, make the claim that Chatamo is a global standard, even though it's not being used in China. But uh, it's been replaced essentially in a number of markets by CCS. Korea is going with CCS, Europe is going with CCS, and it appears that just by default, North America is going with CCS. Now, apparently, and I wasn't privy to this, there was a discussion and presentation made in Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti's office about how Electrify America would be offering sites with parity between the Chatamo and CCS adapters. Now, I can only assume that that agreement was specifically for Los Angeles or possibly metropolitan areas of California. And I guess it's justifiable in that case, mainly because the number of Nissan Leafs and some older legacy electric vehicles that were equipped with a Chatamo adapter, the, the population of those vehicles in the Los Angeles area is very, very high. But we also have to, you know, be honest about this. Those vehicles, most of them are not really equipped for long distance travel. Uh, you look at the Kia Soul EV, the RAV4 EV, uh, the older versions of the Nissan Leaf. Uh, you can make long distance trips in them, but it's not necessarily the most convenient thing to do when you're stopping um, every 80 or 90 miles uh, to charge. And even then, that might be more than most people are stopping. So if you look at the network that Electrify America is building along those major highway corridors, they're in areas where traditionally those small battery short range electric vehicles were just never really sold. So, you know, you don't have a high population density of Chatamo equipped electric vehicles in Kansas or Nebraska or Idaho. So supporting those vehicles 
doesn't necessarily seem like it makes a lot of sense. But again, they might have made special provisions for locations like Los Angeles, where there is a high density of those Chatmo equipped vehicles. And we will see parity between the Chatmo and CCS standard in those metropolitan areas. Essentially, it would be in metropolitan areas in uh, zero emission vehicle states and in the states that are, are complying with CARB's zero emission uh, policies. So, so in that, we, uh, we don't know yet what Electrify America's plans are for uh, Los Angeles specifically, uh, but they aren't necessarily going to match what Electrify America's buildouts are for middle America and the rest of the United States. And it does bring up, though, to me, a very interesting question, because if Nissan insists on holding on to their Chatmo standard because their new 60 kilowatt hour Nissan Leaf that they're releasing does look like it's going to be highly capable of long distance travel with extremely fast uh, charging. Well, if they're holding on to that legacy standard, maybe then that's something that they need to support because we're, we see the same thing with Tesla. Tesla, they're holding on to their standard. They don't want to change, but they're building out to support their individual standard. So if Tesla wants to stand alone. That's fine. They can stand alone and they're supporting their vehicles. If Nissan wants to do the same thing, then maybe they need to do what Tesla has done. And if they want to stand alone, they can do it. But when 20, 30 other automakers all agree to use the same standard, uh, I don't see why public resources need to go into supporting uh, the Chatmo standard. So I'm interested to hear what you think. I, I mean, I don't want electric vehicle owners of any kind to be put out. That's part of the reason why I disagree with uh, Tesla keeping their supercharger network private and uh, using it as sort of a, a moat to other electric vehicle owners. But in this case, you know, if, if the United States basically says, you know, CCS is our standard and all the automakers here are going to follow it, it's not that different than China, where they all use the GBT standard as well. So uh, I'm curious what you think. Uh, I mean, at this point, I'm just glad that we have thousands of public uh, fast chargers going into place and uh, high speed, long distance, coast to coast travel uh, will be possible in a vehicle like the Bolt EV or the new Kona EV or really most electric vehicles at this point uh, within just a few months, at, depending on how long it takes Electrify America to uh, bring these specific sites online. But I'm, I'm interested in hearing what you think about it, whether you think there needs to be parity throughout the entire network, even in areas where uh, Chatmo vehicles haven't been sold and won't probably be sold in any high amount of volume. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.